Hello fellow producer, this is Onesto and I'm here to help you finish better music. Today we're looking at Nectar 3 Plus from Isotope. It's a plugin that can immensely clean and help improve your vocals. There's a whole lot that Nectar 3 can do, so today we're going to look at the six best features that gives it an edge over other vocal processing plugins. If you want to learn more about Nectar 3 Plus, I have a link in the description below. Cool, let's get right into this. When I was figuring out how I should like show off Nectar 3 Plus, I didn't want to use a vocal take that was sung by a professional or that was recorded in like this professional studio environment because I think Nectar 3 can still take a rough recording and make it sound pretty great. So I went to Luberman.com and I found this vocal from an artist. I'll have her like handle below, just I am Odarka. So let's listen to it now. All right, so we took a listen to it. Yeah, it's not, um, here, I'll, I'll just solo it real quick. I don't know what her recording situation was like. Cool, I don't know, maybe she recorded on her phone, maybe she had a mic, maybe the room was, you know, not really good. Who knows, it's just this rough vocal and I figured this will be perfect to really see what Nectar 3 can do. All right, so best feature number one is RX-8 breath control. Now you might be wondering, like, that's not, that's not Nectar 3 Plus, and you're right, it isn't. But RX-8 breath control comes bundled with Nectar 3 Plus, which is pretty great. All right, so I want to demonstrate what RX-8 breath control does. I'm just going to show you before I explain it, which is pretty crazy. I have it opened up here. All I do is just select science breaths. And now I'm going to take a big inhale, and you won't hear anything. Okay. That was hard to do. All right, so what RXA breath control does is eliminate breath from a vocal take, which is really good if you are not, if you don't want to hear any of that. Um, but sometimes I can, you know, some artists want to have their breaths to make it sound more intimate, sound more, I don't know, natural. All right, so best feature number two is the pitch correction inside of Nectar 3 and the Melodyne Essentials that's bundled with it. Yeah, so Nectar 3 Plus is not only bundled with the breath control plugin, but it also comes with Melodyne Essentials, which is really great for fixing your vocals to get everything all sounding perfectly in pitch and all that wonderful good stuff. Let me open an Nectar 3 Plus real quick and show you the pitch correction inside of it. And it's, it's um, I think the pitch correction inside Nectar 3 is good in live situations. It's not as good as Melodyne Essentials, but I think this is really good to use if you are in a live setting. And the Melodyne is wonder really wonderful to use when you are working inside your studio and just like tweaking and finessing vocals yourself. So let me show you how to do pitch correction inside of Nectar 3 Plus. So first you uh, select where the vocal register is at. This one is in mid, and then you'll select the key that your vocal is in. And mine is in F minor. You can also select auto to detect here, and it works pretty good, but it's just you know best to know what key the vocal is in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and play it, and you'll be able to see the pitch correction working. You're not around, raising above the water. My feet can touch the yeah, water. so you can touch see it working. Like I like to bring the strength down a little bit to help it feel a bit more natural. Speed determines how quickly it corrects. Cool, and you can kind of do like the, the crazy attitude thing, just put strength to max, speed to lowest. Which, you know, that's the vibe for sure, but I like to keep the strength a little bit lower and then the, the time a little bit longer, speed a little bit longer. You can also mess with the form in two. My feet can touch the ground. Cool. So like I said, it's not as good as Melodyne. So I'm just going to go ahead and load up Melodyne and do it this way. Super easy. Just open it, um, play it, and then you click transfer. All right. Boom. There we go. That is our vocal and how it lines up there. Then all you do is click this little box here and you're able to fix the pitch center. So make sure that things are more in pitch. So you can see how like this this little note here uh, is verging on being a bit sharp and it's gonna drag it back down to where it's more in the center. And everything just, you know, moves at the same time, which is pretty cool. And then pitch drift is controlling uh, if, if, if the pitch starts to drift. Um, and not a whole lot's happening. So good job, Odarka, for singing that well. I'll go ahead and just click okay. 
Yeah, things sound a bit better. My feet can touch the ground. Touch the ground and I feel sly. Alright, I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and bounce this once again. Okay, so best feature number three is vocal assistant. Now, this is no big, it should be no big surprise because Isotope talks and brags about their vocal assistant inside of Nectar 3. And what vocal assistant does is just, it's the plugin listening to your vocal track and it's going to apply different processes um, that are typically done in order to make a vocal sound better. Because this is a more obvious best feature, I'm going to go through it pretty quickly. So all you do, I uh, have Nectar 3 on my pitch correct vocal, click vocal assistant, Make sure this is uh, selected, click next, and then you have uh, some options. You can choose a vibe. If you hover over each of these little, these little boxes here, it tells you what you'll be getting. So Vintage is gonna focus more on darker, mid-focused vocal sounds. Modern is a brighter, clear vocal sound. And Dialogue is all about giving you an articulate and balanced dialogue sound. And the intensity is you know, kind of self-explanatory, um, which is giving you a light, moderate, or aggressive form of processing. So for this track, let's stick with moderate, and I want to go vintage this time around. Let's give it a shot. So now I'm going to just select next, and it's going to ask to um, have me play the audio. My face above the water. My feet can touch the ground. So now it's just listening to this thing and, and applying a bunch of processing to it. Okay, so Vocal Assistant has analyzed my track. It is all done. Uh, let me show you some things that I like to do to it. I like to first click ALM off. What it's trying to do is, is make sure the vocal RMS, like the average loudness is you know similar. It's like pretty much the same throughout the vocal. I find that when this is engaged, it can sound a bit flat. Like it's a bit like too compressed almost. So I like to get rid of that. And um, what else do I like to do in here? Let's look at the compressor, see how much it's... Cool. And let's just move on to the fourth best feature, which is the frequency follow. So I love frequency follow. So usually on EQ1, after you do vocal assistant, it's going to have all these little notches. And these notches are targeting resonance buildup in the vocal itself. So let me just solo this one. You'll hopefully be able to hear it. Let me start right here. Yeah, so you can kind of hear it. This is the thing with vocals, like I play it and this static nose sometimes is hitting that resonant peak, but sometimes like the frequency from the vocal like dodges a little bit, like it, it, it's moving, it's always moving. It's this wonderfully beautiful organic sound. So what you do is just click this pull out menu here and you click frequency. So now this note is gonna follow that resonance buildup. So I'm just gonna apply the frequency nodes to all of these right here. Cool. Feet can touch the ground, touch the ground, and I feel like I can see the sand. So now you can see the how the nodes are dynamically moving to identify where those resonance peaks are. Feet can touch the ground, touch the ground, and I feel like. So let me uh, bypass this whole EQ one. Feet can touch the ground, touch the ground, and. All right, unpack, un bypass. Feet can touch the ground. Touch the ground and I feel like I can see the sands on the horizon every time. Yeah, and I really like this frequency follow feature because it just allows, uh, it just helps my vocals sound cleaner. It's getting rid of any, any of those like annoying high pitched resonance builds up and it's doing a pretty good job at it because it's dynamically adapting to the vocal itself. You know, before I get to feature number five, I did want to ask you if you find that this video is helping you out, like you're learning more about Nectar 3, you're getting more excited about it, please like this video, let me know because I uh, really use that feedback to help me know if I'm doing a good job at explaining these plugins to you guys because I want you to make them finish better music. All right, so the fifth best feature is kind of hidden. It is under the harmony module right here. Also bring it before the reverb. And typically the harmony is adding, it's like taking your one vocal and duplicating it and you're able to change the pitch of it to make it sound like the voice is harmonizing with itself. Uh, and it sounds, it sounds pretty cool. This is how it is default. All right, great, wonderful. But this is the thing, there's a way, I don't know, I think there's a cooler way to, to do this harmony, uh, which is right here, MIDI enable. So you enable the MIDI, and now suddenly, what I play on my MIDI keyboard is gonna be harmonizing with my vocal. Face above the water. 
My feet can touch the ground, touch the ground and I feel sly I can see the sands on the horizon every time Great, so that was kind of crazy. Like my keyboard kind of became like this weird, I don't know, sampler slash just harmonizer. Um, every key was just a, a version of that vocal, which is in pitch with my MIDI keyboard. All right, so let's move on to the last feature I want to show you. Um, and it's another really good one, which is the unmasking feature inside of Nectar 3. So what Nectar 3 is able to do is to look at another audio source and to determine if there's any masking happening between both uh, the, the vocal and the audio source. Cool, so let me just put a relay onto my uh, loop track here. So now with Nectar 3 and relay on my loop talking to one another, it's going to get rid of any masking that's happening between the two of them. So to do that um, on your Nectar 3 Plus, just click Vocal Assistant and click Unmask and then click Next. Then select your source, which is um, the relay on my loop. And then you just play it. Face above the water. My feet can touch the ground, touch the ground, and I feel slow. Alright, so already done. Alright, sweet. So now uh, let me just solo the loop. Alright, so see all of those frequencies? Like this is like an EQ curve, and it's cutting you're seeing where things are getting cut out. So it's like all in the mid, it's just scooping all that out uh, because that's where the vocal uh, frequencies are occupying. So I'm going to like bypass and pre-engage this thing. So this is what the math unmasking done. See how it kind of like, yeah, I got louder, but those frequencies came back. All right. So if, let's say it's like a bit too much. You're able to adjust the slider. You can go, you know, 0%. Or full, you know, double it, two hundred percent, which is quite extreme. And then what I like to do is click dynamic. So now this EQ uh, curve is going to be moving dynamically. How about that? So great. And then I like to take it a step further sometimes and click side chain. So let's listen to the two together. My feet can touch the ground, touch the ground, and I feel sly. Did you see how like the, the EQ curve went back to normal during the silence? Face above the water. Which is really great because uh, you know, during this pause in the vocals, you don't want all those EQ, all those frequencies just gone from the EQ in our loop. We would like them to come back. So a dynamic uh, mix with a sidechain uh, button here is really good for those moments. All right, so after all this processing that we've done to this vocal, let's hear what it sounds like. Something else that I really like about Nectar 3, it's not, I wouldn't consider it a best feature, but it's a nice thing to know about, is this match button. And this match button, when it's engaged, um, all it's doing is that now when you unbypass it and when you bypass it, when you flip back and forth, the volume level is gonna be the same. So you're able to make a better judgment uh, if things are actually getting better or not. Crazy about the water. My feet can touch the ground, touch the ground, and I feel sly. All right, unbypassed. Face above the water. My feet can touch the ground, touch the ground, and I feel sly. All right, cool. So let's bring back in the reverb. I like the the changes that Nectar Three made to it all. Hooray! Uh, cool. We'll hear everything now. Here we go. Face above the water. My feet can touch the ground. Touch the ground and I feel sly I can see the sands on the horizon every time You're not around Alright, cool. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Um, those are the six best features of Nectar 3 Plus.